So this is a short little tutorial on how to drill a hole into a ball bearing. The first thing you do is you face off a very small amount with the file. You should probably use a, uh, a vice and whatnot, but quite frankly it doesn't really matter. You just need a tiny little uh, flat surface. The first thing that I did was get a piece of wood and drill a pilot hole which basically catches the ball bearing uh, so that doesn't escape. To hold the ball bearing in place I'm using uh, this tool here and I'm using a piece of cardboard so that the jaws don't bite into the ball bearing itself. If you don't use enough cardboard, or uh, don't use any cardboard at all, the ball bearing will catch on the drill and spin and become useless. After facing off the top of the ball bearing with the file, uh, I'm ready to drill the first hole. I've got my drill bit uh, quite far up so that it doesn't wobble around and remains rigid. This is just a cheap drill press, Ryobi, $100 job. I use a bit of CRC or WD-40, whatever you want. Just spray a bit on here and that helps it cut. I've also slowed down my drill uh, considerably to about 600 RPM. I'll stop it and check. That I'm in the center. Um, yeah, it looks pretty alright. I put a bit more uh, lubricant in it. Now, by the way, this gets extremely hot, much hotter than uh, the boiling point of water, so be warned. You have to hold the uh, vice grips really, really tight. I stop and start, stop and start, and check it all the time because what often happens is the uh, the thing rolls around, and all of a sudden you get off centre and uh, you sort of box it up. And that happens a lot more when you're actually on the bigger size draw bit. The little draw bit is generally pretty simple. And uh, it's about three quarters of the way in. I basically eyeball this to be as straight as I can get. And again, spray some... Uh, some lubricant on it. And we'll begin. And well, the first cut was uh, was pretty all right. You can see how it's wobbling all over the place uh, with those different marks there on the inside. But when the uh, once it comes to the full circumference or the full uh, diameter of the drill bit, it will steady itself and uh, and be a nice clean hole. What often happens is. Uh, as this wobbles around and it pushes it around and all of a sudden it's trying to drill in on the side and then uh, 
and then it messes everything up. So I stop and check and I re-push it around until I've got it back in the centre. And uh, then I continue. Bit by bit, you drill down until uh, you're at your required depth. And uh, the end result is a uh, nice clean fit to a 9mm kite rod. It's going to make an excellent ball joint for my 3D printer. It doesn't have to be perfect because as long as the sphere of each ball bearing is exactly 250mm between centres, it doesn't matter what angle this hole is actually drilled in. It can be here, it can be there. As long as it's mostly in the centre, it's going to work fine. I'm going to glue this in with some epoxy resin. And I've got to make 12 of these. And then I'll be done. And that concludes my tutorial on how to drill a hole into a ball bearing. Please subscribe and uh, leave some comments. Cheers.